All right, what's up, guys? Welcome to a FIFA 23 video. Welcome to a new series here on FIFA 23. So yesterday, Everton stayed in the Premier League. We're here to stay, baby. Once again, an incredible uh, turnaround to stay in the Premier League, just like last season. Uh, we did it under Frank last season, and I did an epic career mode with Frank as manager. We did three seasons. I don't think we ended up winning a trophy, but we came, I think, uh, we came pretty close on a few occasions. I feel like I wanted to do a new season with Sean Dyche at the head, all the players that we have that kept us up this season and, and try and build on that and rebuild Everton and make them into a, a club that's not fighting relegation again. So I feel like this will be a really fun series to start up uh, until EA Sports FC 24 comes out later this year. So if you guys are interested in seeing this as a full series, this is kind of a tester part one. If you guys are interested in seeing it as a full series, drop a like, let me know and uh, I can try and bring that to you guys as well. So uh, I've been missing the FIFA content a little bit, but Sean Dyche, England, of course, I, I put the, I've taken the jacket off and he had a jacket on him, but this is how he looked yesterday when we stayed up. I think that's how I want him to look there. Sean Dyche, boy, a transfer budget of 47 million, which isn't too bad, honestly. And uh, let's jump in here. Um, Sean Dyche, d d domestic success low, continental success low, brand exposure high, financial high, youth development medium. Let's jump on in and let's do this thing. We're playing on legendary difficulty, half length, five minutes, currency sterling, uh, European comp competitions enabled during the first season. I mean, yeah, it doesn't really matter to us because we're not in Europe anyway. Receive an influx of cash at the beginning of your career. No, we want to we wanna make it realistic here. I want to be, um, I kind of want to be like, bang bang trying to to stay up like Everton are in real life and trying to to rebuild here with Daesh at the helm so that's the way that we are going to do it I don't want any international job offers that can get lost now honestly and let's uh let's jump on in boys uh like I said show support and I'll make this into a full series I'd absolutely love to I love the FIFA videos it was an absolutely incredible day yesterday I went over to my cousin's house um it was his birthday yesterday he's also an Everton fan we watched the match together and uh, I'm telling you for the first half like there wasn't many words said it was just <laughs> especially when Leicester went dead we were both just like oh Jesus oh Christ and and we just thought that was going to be uh that was going to be that but uh Everton second half they came out and they and they did really well in fairness and Ducore has been immense ever since Deich came in. He really has. Like, he fell out of favor under Lampard. Honestly, I was kind of ready to get rid of him. But he's proved me wrong. Um, he's been absolutely brilliant here in the second half of the season. And uh, he scored a few vital goals indeed. A Sean Deich, first press conference. Here we go. Delay, we are pleased to introduce your new manager. Your new manager, Sean Dyche. And we can't give enough credit to this man as well. Like, I've criticized him. I've def definitely criticized him for some of the stuff that he's done. But he came in to, um, to a club that was really underperforming. And he turned it around. He did. He got a lot of 1-0 victories. And, and, oh, shit. I just selected one of these by accident. Uh, it doesn't matter anyway. We'll, we'll do one of them anyway. We can sim the games. But, yeah, he, like... The only thing that I was really critical of him was the Michael Keane stuff. Like, him starting Michael Keane continuously was very strange to me. But then when he dropped Michael Keane, we got... Magically, we got way better um, when we started playing Yerry Minna. And I thought that that was, uh, that was when we saw, saw Sean, Sean, Dyche's, um, Sean Dyche's prowess. He, he, really, he really did do quite well. So, uh, fair play to him. And I think he deserves to stay on as Everton manager for sure. And, uh, and get another season at least to see what we can do. All right, so let's have a look at our squad here and see what we're working with. See what we're working with here. So we got Minna. And Minna's a 76. Tarkovsky, Coleman. Uh, Patterson is going to be the one that I'm really looking to start, though, uh, from the rip. Like, we're going to struggle at the start. There's no doubt about that. Cody and Tarkovsky is probably my partnership. Um, Keen, I'm going to try sell. Godfrey, I mean, he does get better, I think, in this game. So we might try and uh, try and work with that. Patterson's going to be starting uh, quite a bit because Coleman obviously pushing on. Garner is one that I'm I want to to really push on and, and focus on improving as well. Uh, but we need some we need some attacking options. We need some attacking options 100, percent and that's what we're going to focus on right off the rip. I think Gray in behind Ducore makes sense. I do want to start Ducore though, but I think long term we're looking for for a better central midfield. Uh, partnership there guy on onana will work for now but on our guy is getting old i'll have to replace him at some point all right first let's go into our squad hub and see what we're gonna sell all right let's uh, let's just see what we're gonna sell i think there's quite a few players that i do want to sell um not too many up near the top here moise keen obviously i want to sell him at some point michael keen definitely add to transfer list 
I love how Pickford's our best player by far. <laughs> All right, let's have a look and see who we're going to look into signing. Like, uh, I want to have a look at some realistic signings, not anything crazy. You know, we need some, like, realistic signings. And uh, the one from Coventry, who we've been linked with, Giacris, I don't know how to pronounce his name. He's been, uh, he's been linked with us quite a bit, so I'm going to shortlist him. What other positions? We probably need a winger. And with Leicester kind of on the decline, maybe we can look at Harvey Barnes as a potential replacement for one of our... Uh, I just want to scout Matoma and see what he's like as well. I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna go for him straight away or anything. And with Leeds getting relegated as well, Wilfred Gnanto, I want to have a look at him, scout him, and shortlist him. He's a young lad that could potentially have huge um, potential for the future. Somerville as well. I want to scout him. Two of the Leeds guys, uh, they're young with high potential. I think, even though I know they got relegated, they still have good potential. I want to scout Richarlison for a potential return home as well. You just, uh, oh, 81, 30 million. Maybe. Maybe he wants to come home. Probably not this season, though, because I think he just moved to Spurs at this point in, in our season, right? Oh, we got to play these drills, fuck's sake. <laughs> <laughs> Forgot about that. By, by the way, if you want 20% off Rogue Energy, use my code to Apex Sound and I'll... By the way, if you want 20% off Rogue Energy, use my code, the Apex Sound, no spaces, and you can try it out. I'm drinking strawberry kiwi today. It's my favorite flavor. Uh, let's get in and try to do some of these drills here and try to get some A's because uh, we need to do this at the start of every season. I forgot about that. All right, we got an A there. Nicely done. Extreme hot potato. Woohoo! I like this one, actually. This is fun. Just got to keep passing it. Bruh. And I'm playing on Legendary as well because I want this season to be as realistic as possible. I don't want us just to... Uh, just storming off into the into the European places or something. I want it to be an actual proper battle here. All right, beautifully done. Halvert Lewin transfer offer for 15 million. Get out of here, son. You're not getting that shit from me. All right, Connor Cody is giving us greetings on behalf of the whole team. He wants to welcome us to Everton. We've got plenty of work to do. The future is exciting, I'll say. Um, but we we do have plenty of work to do as well. I'll tell you that much, Connor. Um, but I, I'm gonna sign Connor permanently. I think we should sign Connor Cody permanently in real life as well It just seems like a bargain at four million to do that and uh, considering his presence in the locker room uh, I saw some people saying we shouldn't even sign him, but I, I disagree wholeheartedly I think it's a it's a no-brainer for us to sign him for that for that much money like he's uh He's good man. He's a good player. There's no doubt about it Fuck <laughs> I still got an A though. Let's go. I don't know how the hell I got an A there Tark. Tarkovsky, by the way. Word for Tarkovsky. He has been phenomenal, I think, this season. Absolutely phenomenal. Um, for, for the large parts of the season, anyway, I think he's been brilliant. But, uh, yeah, what a signing that was on a free. Holgate transfer offer for £6 million. Okay. I'll think about that. I'm not selling Dom, though. I'm not selling Dom at all. Um, let's try and delegate this and get a little bit more for him. We'll start the offer at £10 million, all right? Start the offer at 10 million. Don't sell the player for less than, we'll say, 6.5. All right? I, I, if I can get anything decent for Holgate, to be honest, I'd be happy with that. I don't think he's a, a Premier League caliber player, so uh, we'll see. Jesus Christ, how many goddamn... Uh, I forgot how many trainings there are. The Sims! That's Townsend. I forgot Townsend existed, honestly. Jesus Christ. We have Townsend at our disposal now, which is great. All right, last chance. I only got a C, so I'm giving it one more shot. This one's tough, actually. I'm trying to hit the targets, but it's difficult to there. I, I hope I don't have time finishing on. Davies transfer offer for 4.8 million. Let's delegate that again, and, and let's just not sell him for less than 5.5, we'll say. And 8.8. Uh, come on, guys. Give us a little bit more than, than the asking price for these guys, and, and they'll be gone. All right? Simple as that. All right, we got some more uh, scout reports. And we got a transfer offer for Michael Keane from Espanol for nearly 10 million. Okay. All right, let's bring that down a little bit. I don't want to offend them. So we'll say 16 million. Don't sell for less than 9.5. Honestly, I don't I don't care. Just get him out. <laughs> I like you, Michael. I like you. But uh, we can't be afforded to, to keep you, unfortunately, my friend. Uh, that's the way of the road. All right, let's check out these scout reports from the boys. So we got... Jesus Christ. Who are these guys? I don't, I don't even scout these guys, did I? Must be the scouting. Uh, okay, Harvey Barnes is an 80. Matoma is a 79. Harvey Barnes is actually going to be more expensive than Matoma, it seems like. And uh, they probably have a similar uh, ceiling, honestly. Jacob Ramsey, I do want to scout him as well. I don't, I'm not going to shortlist him or anything, but I'm going to scout a few of these guys. Carol Hine, I signed as my backup goalkeeper in the last uh, season, actually, in the other career mode. 
Yakaris is a 75 overall. Could be a good backup striker for Dominic Calvert Lewin, honestly. Uh, Somerville is 73, and Nanto's a 74 already. So Nanto may be one to look at buying potentially. Uh, 100% is promising. They're both promising, to be fair. They're young, exciting, and they're rated pretty highly for their age. Um, especially Nanto, who's 18 only and already a 74 rated guy. So I'm going to look into signing him for sure. I think Nanto and Giacaris could be good signings. Key negotiations breakdown. Oh, they considered our initial demand too high. I brought it down in everything, dickheads. There's a sale agreement for, for Mason Holgate, though. Uh, 7.4 million. Yeah, sure. Why not? Uh, Tom Davies. Has there been another offer for Tom Davies? Oh, yeah, there has. 5.2 million from Sampdoria. Okay, interesting. I'll accept that offer. That's more than the other one. Keen transfer offer, 8.7 million from West Ham. All right. All right, I'm going to delegate this again. Now, I'm not going to start it as high this time. We'll start it at 15.5 million. We started at 16 million last time. Don't sell for less than 9 million, we'll say. Okay, like even if they don't want to pay us that much. Uh, market value, how, how much are they offering? 14 million? Get lost. I'm not selling Calvert Lewin for less than. 20 million guys come on that's ridiculous good night irene see you later all right we got oh we actually got an a out, uh, an a out of that excellent deal thank you very much and tom's gone too no way tom's gone too i didn't realize and that was also an a fuck yeah baby because we have good squad depth i think there all right so uh, now we have some money to, uh, to really buy some people here um, so let's go ahead and, and look into that. I'm not going to go crazy with it because I don't think Everton are going to go crazy with it in real life. Uh, I'm going to try sign Giacaris. And I'm going to try sign Gnanto maybe. As, as a one for the future kind of one. So Giacaris, 10 million, might have a chance with a, an offer of about 8 million. Let's try it. Let's try it for the crack. All right. I think he could be a, a good backup for Calvert-Lewin. We have a budget of 60 million though. We should... Try and spend quite a bit of that. All right, let's try. They said you can have a chance with 8 million, so I'm going to go 8.5 right off the rip. Okay, they want to sell on clause. All right, deal. 8% sell on clause? I don't care. That's fine. All right, our first signing has been completed, my friends. Yakris is coming into the club. I hope this happens in real life as well. I actually like the look of him in real life from, from the little bit that I've seen. All right, he wants to be important, sure. As long as he's not crucial. Four years, sure. All right. No release clause, fine by me. I don't know what your wage is. No, we do. Okay, he wants 20,000, 200 signing bonus, 20 appearances, 430. That's grand. That's grand, honestly. We'll take that. And uh, our first signing can complete it without any hitches whatsoever. Don Deitch is on the phone. He's getting a few more signings done. He'll be back with you later, pal. Get the fitness pumping. This is what I'm doing on the on the bikes now for my leg the whole time, for my knee. So I've been doing the the entire time, man. But there you go. Let's have a look at him in the shirt. There we go. Sean Dyche and Giacaris looking good in blue. Let's get it, boys. Our first signing has been done and dusted. Let's see. I have a feeling we might not get an A for that because we did just go straight to a... Oh, no, it is an A. Ugh, it seems easy to get an A all of a sudden. I swear I was getting like F, B, D every single time before. But he's up actually up to a 76 already. He's gone up one already. Let's go. Good squad player. Now, are we going to try sign Nanto right away as well? I think I am. I think I'm going to do it. Market value, 8.5 million. I mean, these are two no-brainers, I feel like. It's cheap, and they're young. And this is the kind of players that I want Everton to be start trying to sign in the future. All right, let's get started. That's meant to be Sam Allardyce, but I'm pretty sure. All right, let's go. Let's start with 10 million. I think 10 million is a fair first offer. Okay, they want a sell on clause as well. Now, with Nanto, I'm a little bit more worried about the sell on clause, but it's only 9%. And I don't plan on selling him uh, in this career mode anyway. So, all good. We'll take it. No release clause is fine. All right, his current wage is nine. I, I'll give him like, not 100,000. I don't want to be going crazy. I'll give him like a little bit of a bonus, though. A little bit of a, a wage increase for sure. Uh,. And we'll go with a signing bonus of like 200,000. That good with you? All right, he's happy with that. Let's go. Another signing in the books. Gananto and 
our boy Giacres have joined the club. And these are the kind of signings that I want to make, you know, signings that are realistic, make sense, and um, and that can really help Everton Football Club. So let's do it. Some long-term great signings. Now, he doesn't have a character model, unfortunately. If I'd known that, I might have gone for Somerville instead. Although I don't, I don't know if Somerville has a character model either. Have they got one for Patterson since, like a, a face scan? I'm not sure. Another excellent deal. James Garner, 69 overall. Wait, since when is James Garner 69? Oh, I think that's as a center attacking mid, he's a 69. Yeah, but uh, I thought Gananto was more of a winger anyway, no? Now, Richarlison could be the big signing that I want. Like the big signing to bring him back to Everton. He doesn't seem to be enjoying his stuff at Spurs. You know, I, I could see it happening in real life. I really could see it happening in real life. So that's why I'm kind of entertaining the idea. But we'll see. All right, we got a keen sale agreement for 12.5 million. Okay, I'll take that. From the Hammers, 12.5 million. Definitely take that. Now, Ruben Loftus-Cheek and Jacob Ramsey. Final scout reports have come in. Uh, Ruben Loftus-Cheek, 77. Jacob Ramsey, 76. And he's about five years younger. He's a centre mid. Um, not really something I was looking at. I just scouted them just in case because we do have enough centre mids as it stands right now. Our squad is pretty centre mid heavy, actually. Uh, we have Onana. We have... Wait, what the fuck's going on with my squad now? All right, a few of these players were probably looking to loan out, I would say. Like Reese Welch. Um, Keane's going to be gone. Maybe we should recall Branthwaite, honestly. If Keane's going to be gone, we and Keane and Holgate are both going to be gone. We do. We still have Godfrey and, and Minna as, as backup, though. So we don't really need him. Cody as captain, I think, actually makes sense. I, I think it should be Pickford, but Cody as captain... Did I make it Pickford, actually? I feel like I should make it Pickford. Cody ain't been here long enough, man. Let's make it Pickford. All right. I'm just going to block offers on Calvert-Lewin soon, because these offers are just shit. They're dog shit. Every time it's like 13 to 15 million. Like, get out of here, man. Why is on Nana minus one, by the way? Let's quick sim it. I don't care about these matches. Obviously, these are just kind of warm-up matches. Oh, we won. Ghana Gay scores the goal. Hell yeah. Big Mick Kegger. I love how we walk him out like he's uh, he's going to prison or something. You know, the way we walk him out of the club is hilarious. It's where he's getting booked or something. Oh, he's getting sent away for good. Goodbye, Michael. He's gone to the Hammers, a Premier League rival. So I wonder will we be starting the next time we play West Ham? We'll see. Right, another A. I think it's just... They've gone the complete opposite way now. It's just too easy to get an A. All right, interest in Barnes. Ooh. The already minute transfer offer for 7 million. Bayern Munich have, have approached Harvey Barnes. Jesus Christ. Well, they've offered uh, 27.5 million. We don't, we don't got that kind of money to spend on one player, do we? So we'll stick with that. <laughs> We'll stick with what we have, I think. I'm going to change the team around and quick sim, though. I'm going to give uh, give some other people a start. We'll give Giacaris a start. We'll give Nanto a start ahead of a Wobi. Put McNeil on the right. We'll give Garner a start there ahead of Onana. And uh, we'll go with that. Give Godfrey a start as well over, over Tarkovsky. It's only friendly. It's might as well. So let's quick sim that. See if we get a get a get another uh oh four one look at that Damari Gray got like, four goals Damari Gray scored all four goals what the fuck <laughs> okay Damari fair play well done son we need a left back is what we need actually because Vinagre didn't play a single minute for us I think a left back is a good uh, a good point for us to look at right now but we might do that I'm trying to think of a good left back all right one one there so we still unbeaten. One, two, drawn one. Oh, we didn't win? How did we not win? Did we lose on penalties there or something? I guess we might have. All right, let's reject that. Yari Mina. I'll delegate that. I mean, if they want to offer something crazy, like we'll start the offer at, at 13 million. Because, I mean, he only has a year left on his contract. If they want to pay pay some money, we can we can always recall Branthwaite. And uh, how much money do we have left? Because I need to look, look at left backs here. I'm going to look up this Luca Nets kid. Heard good things about him. I'm gonna scout him. And all right, Aaron Hickey, I think, can play right back or left back, so we'll have a look at him as well. You know who I should look up as well, actually? Uh the Chelsea left back that's been playing quite a bit. What's his name? Hall. He might be young and cheap in this game, actually. Is he even in this game is the question? Yeah, I'll scout him regardless. I thought he was a left back. He's been playing left back for Chelsea, I think, though, hasn't he? Minna negotiations break down. Okay, I'm not too upset about that. All right, our first league game is coming up, boys. Our first league game is coming up. Aaron Hickey, 75 overall, 20 years old. That's impressive, considering I think he can play multiple positions as well. I don't know if he can in FIFA, but he definitely can in real life. 
Lewis Hall, 61. Aaron Hickey could be one to look at, because especially with Seamus Coleman getting older as well, I would have cover at right back and left back. Um, I think that could be one to look at. Let's uh, shortlist and view and transfer hub. Here we go. Let's have a look. Yeah, right wing back, left back, right back. Could be a good one here. Could be a good one here. Luca Nets, though. I want to wait and see what he is at, at 19 years old. I want to wait and see what rating he is before committing to signing Aaron Hickey. Beat the goalie. All right, let's do this one. We're approaching our first Premier League game, though, boys, against Newcastle, no less. Okay. All right, let's have a look at Luca Metz. 73, 19 years old. Milos Quiro, 74, 18 years old. Holy smokes. All right, these guys are, are really promising right and left backs here. Milos Kirkas, Aaron Hickey, and Luca Nets. Now, it looks like Luca Nets does have a face scan, which is kind of making me lean towards wanting to get him. <laughs> I'm going to go for the young German. 19 years old, 5.5 million. How much is Aaron Hickey worth? 9 million, yeah. Kirkos, 7.5. So uh, Nets is the cheapest as well. Let's go with this. Let's go in for the kill here. Get a young, nice young left back. One for the future. 8,000, so we'll go like, not 100,000 again. We'll go 11,000, give him a little bit of an increase. Or like a $200 bonus. We'll go based on appearances for a bonus of 200,000, something like that. All right, he's happy with that. Come on, Nets, boy. Welcome to the club, buddy. All right, another new signing. Done and dusted. Got up to a 74 all overall immediately after he joined, so. All right, then. He's a left back. Why are you comparing him with a right back? All right, Aaron Hickey definitely could be one we look in the future to sign anyway. Um, when Like, to replace Coleman. Like, just have backup for Patterson and backup for Nets if Michael Enko's not still there or something. All right, my friends, it's not going to be easy, but first game, St. James's Park. Let's see if we can start the season with a bang. Or is it going to be more agony for Everton? Let's find out. The Toffees are on the way. Let's go, baby. All right, what team are we going to go with is the question, though. Do we stick with this team here? Are we going to make any changes? All right, I think I'll go with this team here. Pickford, Patterson, Cody, Tarkovsky, Michaelenko, Iwobi, Ganagay, Onana, McNeil, Gray, Albert Lewin. We have Ducore, Nanto, Garner, Maupe, Giacaris on the bench. We have quite a few players on the bench that can change things. So that's an improvement on Everton's bench in real life, at least. Let's do this thing, boys. Come on. Up the toffees. Let's start with a bang here. First game of the season. It's buzzing. Let's see if Gordon can come to haunt his former club here. He scored against Chelsea yesterday. He scored against Frankie Lampard. Only ended up as a draw, though. But anyway, let's jump in. Let's do this thing, my friends. Come on! Up the toughest, lad! Come on, baby! I'm feeling good about this season. I'm feeling good about it. McNeil, we're on the break early here. Could we make our first attack a goal? Calvert-Lewin turns him really well. Somehow gets past his man. Nearly could have slipped it in for Gray there right off the rip. But now Newcastle are on the break. This is going to be a high-tempo game, is it? Jesus, is it ever? Ooh, Alexander Isak was in. No, it's 1-0 Newcastle. God damn it. Patterson's rating is so shit, by the way, that it's hard to play as him. 69, like, he should be so much better than that. He should at least be, like, low 70s, like 72, 73, man. He's been good this season as well when he's played. He has had some injuries, though. I don't think Patterson has a goddamn face scan either, though, does he? All right, I think we're going to get chances, though. We just need to be patient here. Here is McNeil. Here's Damari Gray, and this could be a chance here. Oh, good tackle. I should have just shot earlier, I think. I had some, some opportunity. Great tackle. Good block, Tark. All right, corner ball. Yellow card for Ghana. Ghana's character model looks like it's been changed a little bit and improved as well, does it? A lot of the players look different. I'll tell you that much. They've definitely been changing a few things, tweaking a few things since uh, since I started my career mode with Everton, which was quite a while ago now. Fuck off! Come on! Are you shitting me? Goes under Pickford. For God's sake, 2 0 Newcastle. Oh my God. What a terrible start to the season, huh? Awful. Oh, for fuck's sake, it's 3 0. Oh my God, man. Wow. I was actually so lucky, to be honest. 3 0 Newcastle, and what a start, huh? Jesus. What a great start this is. 
What's happening, guys? Offside, thank God. I don't know what's going on, though. Like, this is awful. Am I not... Like, have they made Legendary harder? They might have. Back post, McNeil! Oh, good save! Fucking hell, what a save by Pope. Oh. I thought for sure we were back in it. All right, halftime, 3-0 Newcastle. We had a chance to make it 3-1 at the end there, but bloody hell, it's been pretty dominant for Newcastle. Let's get Giacaris on. Let's get Gnanto on. Let's try and just... If the new players can do anything, all right? Come on, Giacaris, show us what you're made of, baby. Second half performance here. Making a triple substitution at halftime. Here's Gnanto. Look how small he is, man. <laughs> He's fucking tiny. Is he actually that small? Oh, right. That should be a fucking raid. That was a horror challenge. Oh, that has to be a yellow at least when the play is stopped, man. That was a reckless challenge there, like. Yakris has a chance! Yes, 3-1! Yakris gets his debut goal! Come on, lads. That's what we're talking about. All right, don't celebrate too much. Come on, let's go. Let's just uh, go ahead and... No, shut up, shut up. All right, great ball from Gray. It was brilliant from Gnanto, and then a good finish from uh, from Giacaris. I thought he took it too far for a second, but good finish past Pope. And we're back in this thing, 3-1. I thought we were going to never get a chance there, but Giacara scores on his debut. Pass it, Wobi. I pressed pass. I pressed over the top one, and he and he didn't do it first time of asking for some reason. I think it was because the ball hadn't got to him yet, but that would have been through for fucking Giacara's there. Oh, all right. We're, man, if we can get another one, you never know. You just never know, you know. This is, we're playing well enough to give ourselves some more chances here. Ah, oh, fuck off, lads. What is that? That's pathetic, really. It really is awful, like. My God, of course, it's that dickhead Murphy as well. Like, God almighty. Oh, my God. Like, what? I think Pickford should save this, honestly, as well. It's right in the middle of the goal. Pickford dives backwards. I would have fucking saved that, lad. Come on. It's just unrealistic now. Pickford should be saving there. Oh, we were back in it there nearly as well. Nearly went to 3-2, and now all of a sudden it's 4-1 again. Game over. Ah, oh, what a shame. Tarkovsky! <laughs> yes! 4-2. <laughs> it's off the back of Pope's head, I think. And goes in. All right, no celebrations. Let's just uh, move on. It's a Pope OG. And let's try, like I said, let's try win the second half. And we're doing that right now, at least. What a game, though. Jesus Christ. 4-2 in the first game of the season. <laughs> Bloody hell. That uh, hasn't let us down with scoring anyway. All right. 4-2, full time, first game. Not ideal. It's a tough one. Away to Newcastle, first game of the season. Not easy at all. A lot of goals. 4-2. Sean Dyche's first game in charge in this career mode, at least. Ends in defeat. And that's an unfortunate one. But second half, we showed some promise. Second half, we showed some promise. I was rusty. I haven't played FIFA in a couple of a couple of bloody months. I should have probably done a little preseason game to warm up. But overall, I think second half, we did really well. And... Um, we got back into that game nicely. So let's see what we can do in the next game and uh, and work our way up. Tarkovsky, Giacaris, Awobi, all over seven. Patterson was the fourth best player there, even though he wasn't above a seven. So yeah, not ideal start, but second game of the season, we're looking to bounce back, all right? We're looking to bounce back in a big way. We're playing West Ham at home. All right, come on, winnable game now. West Ham at home, let's get it. This is the one where we want to be winning. Thinking about starting Giacaris now as well. John Loan agreement, sure. I appreciate your input, Jordan. He's, he's, I'm not really interested in bringing in players that improve the club. I am fucking interested in that. I'm doing what I can, brother. I'm doing what I can here, Jordan. Calm down. Gray transfer offer for 12 million. Nah. I'm keeping Gray for now. I mean, it wouldn't be bad business considering we signed him for 1.5, but uh, I'm keeping Gray as it stands right now. We're playing who in the cup next? I don't know. Let's see if the replacements lined up. West Ham lost their first game of the season as well. And I'm thinking of starting Giacaris. Scored last game. He looked promising. I'm going to start Giacaris. We'll play, play Calvert-Lewin coming off the bench. And I think I will go with this team here. All right. Patterson, Cody, Zarkovsky. Not too much changes, really. Um, I know I'm starting the same back four that just conceded four, but... Celebi. It is what it is. Let's, uh, let's jump on in. Let's do this thing.
Four two three one versus four two three one. Here we go. Let's end this video on a high, boys. Let's end this video on a high with a W here at home to West Ham. All right, let's not concede any early goals this time. I don't want to concede in the first half at all. I'd like to concede zero goals during the match, to be honest, but seems a little unreasonable considering we just gave up four. Oh, is Michael Keane starting? Shit, he probably is, actually. I forgot about that. Yeah, he is. I can see him there. That's hilarious. Oh, lads, come on. Great tackle! Huge tackle! Who was that? Alright, fucking hell! How's that not a free kick, man? Oh, good save. How was that not a free? I swear he took my player out there. That would have been a horrible way to concede. Why'd you kick it out for a corner there, Connor? <laughs> not what I meant to do. Well done, Pickford. Sure Alright, we can't get out of our own half now anymore because I just can't pass the ball, unfortunately. Oh, Nana again finds McNeil in space, though. McNeil is the only man up there. He's finding some space. Lads, pass the fucking... Calm it down now! I need to calm down because I'm getting pissed off now because I can't pass the ball to my goddamn own player. Oh, I went for it with Gray there. Or was I on Nana? I don't know. All right, half time, nil nil. I said I wanted to get to half time, having not conceded, and we did that. Now it's time to win this in the second half. Come on, we get out of our own half now. I'm rushing it way too much, man. How did he get through there? Someone tell me. Fucking like how? I don't know how the hell he got through there. I just can't seem to get out of my own half. I can't seem to do anything, man. Maybe. Maybe legendary is not for me right now. Now for, like, what in the God's name is that? I'd love to know sometimes what the hell they be thinking in their head before they do the pass that they do. Oh my God! Jesus Lord, what in the world were they doing there? Nearly the cock up of the century. So a half an hour remaining. Yeah, Chris could be in here. Yes, come on! Victor! Get in! Get in! How we're winning this game is beyond me, but we are. Get the hell in there. Oh, Nana looks different too, actually. And that was the, a beautiful ball through from him. And it's a win for the Toffees. It's looking like it could be a win for the Toffees. I'm not going to get carried away just yet. But Victor Kiakaris gives Everton the lead. And he scored two and two for the Toffees. What a signing this could turn out to be, my friends. What a signing this could turn out to be. Victor Kiakaris, two goals in two matches. And this one is a lot more important than the one in the last game. Huge goal for the Toffees. Will it be enough to secure the victory? Right, I'm going to bring on... Garner for Gana Gay. I'm going to bring on Ducore for Gray. And uh, I'm going to bring on Calvert Lewin for. No, 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 actually, I'm not. I'm not. And that will be a corner. Corner? Really? I thought that was just wide. Okay. Well, they've been getting the All good. Ready, I'm worried. I'm worried, though. I'm worried that West Ham are going to turn into Prime Barrison now or some shit. Good header away, it will be. Garner does well there. I thought he was absolutely brilliant, by the way against um, against Bournemouth. I thought Garner was man of the match for me. To be honest, he was absolutely magnificent. I thought he was so calm under the pressure. I thought he just looked like he belonged there. And here he is now, looking like he belongs again, but unfortunately bounces up in front of him. So <laughs> not ideal timing there. McNeil does really well to hold up the play and find Michaelenko. Michaelenko, bad pass. All you have to do is find Dukes there. Don't let them counter. Uh, hack him down. I don't care. Great tackle, Michael. Well done. It's a proper Sean Dyche victory here if we if we get it over the line. Oh no! No way! How did that fucking tackle go straight through him, man? Oh, that's so frustrating. That's so frustrating, man. Come on. Come on, dude. Look at this. Like, I tackled him, but it just, he, like, completely rode the challenge beautifully. Oh, my God. Look at this. Look. There. Oh, he just, like, how does that, how do you not go through him there, Tarkovsky? And that just leaves him an open shot then. Fuck's sake, man. 
Oh, we held on valiantly for a long time, but it's not to be, unfortunately. We can do something about it here. What a bitter disappointment. Tension building still level. And making his move inside. Oh! Oh, you missed, Stokes! No! Gray would have buried that. Come on, how have you missed, man? I don't believe it. That was such a golden opportunity to win a game. You're ne I actually had more time than I thought there as well, you know. I had more time than I thought. I tried to just bl blast it up there before full time. That's going to be that. That's going to be that. 1-1. One, one. It's a draw. It's a disappointing draw. But uh, a much more closely contested game. And I think um, we proved we can do it there. We should have won that. We only had three shots. 0 0.6 expected goals compared to 1.1. 1 .1. Um, but I feel like that, that Decore chance alone was a big enough chance for us to win the game. We should have won it. We kept West Ham's attack pretty limited as well. Patterson was man of the match and thought he was brilliant, actually. Giacaris, 7.3. Pickford, 7.1. Michael Lenko, Cody, Onana all did well as well. So uh, much better performance that time, for sure. Much better performance overall. And... Um, we kept it a closely contested game the whole time. Um, when Giacara scored, it was definitely against the run of, run of play, but I feel like we, we did really well after that. So, yeah, whatever. All right, we're at home to Peterborough in the cup. I, I, I thought that was Peterborough, actually, yes. Um, we're at home to Peterborough, and we'll see what's going on, all right? We've got bigger games coming up, Victor, so I think I'm going to start Malpe maybe or something like that. All right, guys, that's where we're going to end the video. Thank you so much for watching. We'll be back and we'll be doing that Peterborough game in the next video. We'll be hoping uh, to get Sean Dyche's first win as Everton manager. Thank you for so much for watching. And as I said, if you want to see this as a series, you know what to do. Drop a like, let me know, and I will make sure to bring that to you. Thanks for all the support. Really appreciate it. See you next time. Pleasure to serve you all. Peace out.